Well, uh, you're new to the series. Yeah. And uh, as everybody mentioned, Leela, I mean, she's the, the last lady and the one that had the, the very strong yes, personality right, yeah. and character. Yeah. Plus yeah. the second. I mean, that's right. Yeah. How are you going to. Well, my thing, sir, Louise, is so good of image. I think they're aiming something a bit more sophisticated, intellectual. So the costumes I wear are all very different. And I start off in a long white dress and then gradually get into trousers and things like that. Yeah, I think Whereas hers was very How much you say do you get in things like the costumes? And well, there's always a compromise, I think, between the actor, the producer, and the costume designer. So the three of us get together and decide. Obviously, it's the costume designer who makes the first suggestion. Mm. But, I mean, if I'm very violently opposed to something, I can say, no thanks. Right. <laughs> I do won't you, wear that. Do you have any fears that, you, that you'll be typecast? Because you've done so much other work. I mean, I'm yeah. sure lots of people now recognise your face uh, without the Doctor Who set around you from other films that you've been in. Well, I think that's probably one of the reasons why I took the part, because I thought that um, people within the business would know the work I'd done previously. Yeah. So they'd still remember me for the work before, as well as Doctor Who. And um, as far as the viewing audience goes, I don't think I'm that well known with the uh, viewing audience, because I think some of the TV programs I've done have been more obscure. But because this program's so popular, mm. I think it's a good thing to do because you get seen by lots of people. How did you get into the profession in the first place? Well, I trained at RADA. I left school and trained at RADA and then went to um, Birmingham Rep for a year. And after that, I started doing films and telly. Mm. Well, what about the fantasy element of Doctor Who? I mean, how do you feel oh, about science it. fiction? And well, I used to like. read a lot of science fiction when I was younger, and then since I've come into the program, I started reading more and getting more interested in it. But I love it. I love that whole sphere of, you know, other worlds and things like that. Right. And I like the concept of time travel, because I, I believe one day we will be able to tra travel through time. Yeah. Well, it's very nice of you to come on the program. And you're... I know, willing to stay behind and uh, take part in our game. Yeah, sure. We've got yeah. our special guest star game coming up, new to the program. So Mary will be staying with us. But a bit more music, and rags are here. And this is their bit because we're going to put you fairly and squarely on the line. I thought you were asking me then, because I'm short-sighted, you see. I didn't see the camera behind. I was asking you. <laughs> oh, good, good. Well, if it makes you feel better, I was asking you. <laughs> Would you pick that up, please, Mary? The right. phone just there. And I hope to link you with somebody on line one. Hello. Hello, who are you? Trevor Brooks. Hello, Trevor. Whereabouts are you? Hartley in Kent. Hartley? Oh, know it well. Just up from Longfield. Yes, right, yeah. Um, we are going to link you with Mary, yeah. and we are going to try it and make sure that you win some rather splendid prizes. How are you at observation? Not too good. You're not too good at observation? Yeah. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah. What we want you to do, and Mary's going to be watching as well, have a look at this clip very, very carefully indeed. Watch this yeah. clip. I want... One volunteer! Oh, did you watch that closely, Trevor? I hope so, because along with Mary, what we want from you right now, and as quickly as possible, can you name 12 things that you saw in that clip from It Ain't Half Hot Mum, beginning with the letter B? B. Uh, berry. Berry, yeah. Go on, Mary. Bamboo. Buttons. Buttons. What was the one you said then? Bamboo. Bamboo. Yes, OK, yes, I'll give you bamboo. Braces. Braces. Belt. Yes. Boot. Yes. Buttons. Yes. That's seven. Bonces. <laughs> bonces? <laughs> what a bonce. What, you, you mean in the form of heads? Yes, yes. I'll give you a half for that. Bonces. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> Pardon? Bold. Boards. Yeah. Yes. Quite right. Beard. Beards? Who had a beard? I was said boots. Boots? Yes, we've had boots. boots. Beard? There wasn't a beard. Bushes. Bushes. Yes, all right, I'll give you bushes. At one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half. Bootlaces. Oh, that's cheating. I'll give you another half for that. You're up to ten. Buckles. Buckles? Yep. You're up to eleven. You've only got one more to go. Bottoms. Badges. Bottoms. Bottoms. <laughs> well done, Trevor. You won it on a bottom. <laughs> It was Mary's as well. <laughs> Splendid. Now, you're there with your 12 Bs. I told yeah. you it'd be silly. Now, I can give you an offer. Both apply to one year. You can have one year's supply of this, which is not white wine. It's uh, bubbling bath foam. Yeah. Okay, one year's supply of that. Have we got you sort of baby interested? Yeah. Yeah, she obviously don't bath. That's very nice, Trevor. Oh, one year's supply <laughs> of sausages. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to have? Sausages. The sausages. Yeah. Very well. You can even put them in the bath if you want.
Sheldon, thank you very much indeed, and the sausages will be rushing down in an eight-ton <laughs> truck to Harley and Ken. Thank you, bye. Thanks very much. Bye. 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 All sorts of noise in the background. But you don't go away empty-handed. Oh. Ooh. Some flowers. Oh, lovely. Thank you very Some much. Some flowers. Lovely. Thank you very Absolutely much, Mary. Lovely. Particularly thank you for, for the bottom at the end. And uh, good luck with Doctor Who. Thanks a lot for coming on.